Caucasian Drake, 20 year old, Jake Paul, went from being a Vine app star, then Disney actor, to now YouTube fame, and a flourishing mumble rap career. We've never seen hot garbage move so fast. Yesterday, Jake was just bigger YouTuber, Logan Paul's petty little brother, now he's climbing up the billboard charts, and performing at the Rigged Teen Choice Awards. With the paid for success of Jake's It's Everyday Bro song, which has a whopping 124 million views, and is currently the fifth most disliked song in YouTube history. Jake wants to follow that trash up with an actual full-length album, and here's where it gets juicy, or should we say, Gucci. In addition to social media marketing to impressionable preteens, Jake is paying a whopping $100,000 for a collaboration with former drug-dealing convicted murderer, Gucci Mane to give Jake a boost of unnecessary street credibility. In a staged new video, Jake show himself actually in the studio with Gucci to let everyone know that unlike his YouTube channel, this is real. Gucci Mane literally says that, quote, The song is a hit, and that if you're sleeping on Jake Paul, you're gonna see that this song is a banger. I don't know, Gucci has brought successful street credibility to a lot of undeserving people lately, like Fifth Harmony, Maroon 5, and Selena Gomez. Jake reportedly makes approximately $1 million per month, strictly off of YouTube ads. This doesn't include all of his merchandise, nor brand sponsorships. So, apparently he can afford to buy himself a hit album. But let's be real, do you take Jake Paul seriously as a rapper? Do you think the song with Gucci Man will be worth the $100,000? Is Jake Paul buying his followers, like I am posh? Let me know what you think about this petty mess in the comments.